What is up guys, back again with yet another one. And this time we're gonna be talking about the new Toyota Corolla hatchback. It's probably one of the hottest hatches on the market right now. And so I'm gonna give you guys the specs of it. I'm gonna show you guys different shots of the interior and the exterior while just giving you guys a general overview of this vehicle. So if you guys are new here, definitely like this video, share it, subscribe, do all of that good stuff, especially because I haven't been making videos for a while and now that I'm doing it again, I sort of need to build my way back into the algorithm so you guys see my videos more often. So of course, when you do subscribe, also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be alerted on the new videos that I drop every week, Wednesday at 3 p.m. One of the most interesting things about this hot hatch is the fact that it's going to be stick shift. So it's going to be a six speed manual. It's one of the last vehicles on the market currently where you can actually get a manual option. And in addition to the manual option, they're going to release two different versions of this Corolla. So the first one is going to be the core edition and then the second is the circuit edition. They have a lot of carbon fiber parts the roof, the spoiler, all of these are carbon fiber parts on this car. However, why I found it the most interesting is that naturally when you think of carbon fiber parts, at least major parts like the hood or the roof being carbon fiber, you think of cars that are at least close to the six figure range and above. So for them to put it in this car just goes to show how much they dedicated to making it as racy and as sporty and as light as possible. And speaking of the power that it gives you, we're talking about a 1.6 liter three cylinder turbo. So for me, I found that the fact that it's three cylinders, I thought was rather interesting because they took, I believe, and correct me in the comments if I'm wrong on this, but I wanna say they took the engine from the GR Yaris and they essentially just beefed it up a little bit more because from that engine you're going to be getting 300 horsepower. So from three, so essentially each of the cylinders is going to be contributing to generating 300 horsepower, essentially a horsepower, sorry, a hundred horsepower each, which is extremely like insane for such a small vehicle. Additionally, you have the ability to adjust the bias, whether you want your car to be more rear biased, so it's more of a rear wheel drive vehicle, or you want it to be more front biased. So you can go up to 70% to 30%, so 70% in the rear, 30% in the front, and you can go up to 60% in the front and 40% in the rear. So you get the ability to be able to change depending on where you're driving, how you're driving, then I'm gonna, of course, adjust it accordingly. The last feature that I found rather interesting on this vehicle is the three exhaust pipes. The main reason is because you have only three cylinders that's creating 300 horsepower, so you need bigger exhaust to get rid of the excessive pressure that's being created. And then last but not least, the price. So you can get this car for only $30,000. So comparing that to whether you want to look at the Veloster N, whether you want to compare it to the GTI, or the Civic Type R. For a lot of those vehicles, they're generally in the same price range, but when you think about the amount of power that you're getting for the price range, so you're getting 300 horsepower, and some of the vehicles that I've listed, which I actually will be making a comparison video in the following video uh, from this one. However, when you compare this Toyota Corolla to its competitors, it actually is a fairly reasonable car. But again, you know what, I'm gonna get into the numbers of that and all the specs and all that in the next video. So definitely stay tuned, subscribe to this video. Tell me what you think about the new Toyota in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.